everybody, Suyo here. And Ada. And we're back with Breath of the Wild. Hopefully we'll go be it'll go better than last time. That's just how it's going to be in this series, isn't it? <laughs> Hopefully it'll go better than last time. Hmm. But you have a lot of things about anuses to talk about, don't you? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is this as straightforward as it fucking seems? Yes. Is this cold water? <laughs> no. Okay. Sweet, it's air conditioned in here then. Or eat it. Sweet. Give it. Give me, give me. Frost spear. Magical spear formed from, a from ancient eyes taken from the Hebra Mountains. Attack when the blade goes blue to chill the air and freeze your foe. A very handy weapon. Seems cool. Hmm. Should probably chill out while wielding it. See ya. Oh shit, that was a that was a boomerang. <laughs> Well, it is what you first mistook it for, so... That is true. Yeah. Woo! So, oh, do you have the Thunder Blade? No. I wasn't able to pick it up. Right, because you haven't uh, gotten it on screen before. Well, now's a good time to go get it. Right. Oh, wait, you're done well to arrive at the shrine. A hero rises to right the wrongs of Hyrule, like the Hylia doing nothing. <laughs> In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you the Spirit Orb. Well, I mean... Yeah, some shrines are like this to where the mere act of getting to the shrine was the trial. I see. I guess I can't say how they technically did nothing 100%. If we want to go with the Zelda is Hyrule, then technically she's holding Ganon back for 100 years. Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. Did you mean to say if you want to go with Zelda is Hylia? Or did you did mean I Zelda is... Yeah, you said Zelda is Hyrule. Oh, my bad. I meant... Okay, so Zelda is Hylia, supposedly. Like, an incarnation of her. Mm -hmm. Though she's obviously her own person, too. Or she has her own personality besides that. Mm. So, I mean... Other than that... So that means that, in a way, Hylia is holding Ganon back for 100 years. Only because she inserted All herself in the All this time now, story. and she still hasn't finished this... Uh spat with demise yeah well maybe she's kind of got a thing going for him she wants two boys to fight over her it makes it's it's romantic don't you think <laughs> oh whenever you're ready do you remember where the thunder blade is uh no remind me also i need to get this wait did it get rid of the marker yeah okay sweet do you remember what it is uh yeah it's like one of the one of the always there blades, alongside with the fire blade, but um, put a sword next to it, didn't I? Yeah, it's uh, across. Like the way you get to it is from a fairy, uh, a tower, which you would normally use to go to a fairy fountain. Is this it? Yeah, uh, maybe you'd have to zoom in, and yeah, that's it. All right. Yep, go to that tower, and then just uh, jump from there to get to it. Okay. So, what is this about collapsed anuses? Hmm, not quite. Okay, so let's see. Where to begin this Ooh, story? Starts. Ah, okay. New horse stuff. So then, this all begins horse stuff with know? My Hero Academia. My Hero Macadamia. <laughs> right, and um, you brought up a character from there. I did. Mm -hmm. She's sweet. Like, uh, what was her name? Her uh, name is Suyu. Suyu? I mean, her hero name is Froppy, I believe. Mm hmm. But, uh, her real name is Suyu. <laughs> Suyu, huh? So she prefers Su. How about that? Uh... Rivali's Gale is now ready. Swipe. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need to turn around. Yeah. It's the other, like, uh. So oh, over there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so then. You brought up, uh, Darlis, you told me that when you were explaining what her superpowers were, it was like uh, she was going over them and stuff like that, uh -huh. that she had the ability, like, uh, she had, like, you know, the Spider-Man equivalent of frog powers, super jump, long tongue. Essentially. And that kind of stuff. And spitting her up her stomach so that she can clean it. Right, and you said like, she could spit up her stomach to clean it? To clean it, for cleaning. She said that wasn't very useful, but she can do it. Yeah. Or it wasn't useful in the situation. Right? Okay. So then, I was... What was I doing? What the hell? Not getting away this time! Okay, I don't quite remember exactly what I was doing. All I know is that I came across some My Hero Academia Daujins. Oh boy. 
<laughs> and like I saw someone that looked like that they could be this frog girl who you spoke of. At least I saw someone that gave off like a froggy appearance whenever I looked at him. Because I've never really seen anyone from My Hero Academia all that much before. At least I certainly don't know any names. So I figured, oh, you know, uh, Daljin's, uh, the parodies they may be, are some decent insight into characters and stuff like that. So, I'll just look into, like, uh, this uh, frog girl Daljin, since it obviously seems focused on her. Mm -hmm. And she basically snuck into the main character's room so that she could seduce him. Uh, I believe the main character is like that gone looking kid, right? Yes, essentially. Mm -hmm. No, I mean essentially, yeah, straight up. <laughs> yes, uh, gone from Hunter Cross Hunter. Yes, he is straight up, looks kind of like him. Mm -hmm. Right. He's a good boy. Right. And while she was seducing him, like, one of the things that she did was eject her vaginal canal and anus canal. Uh, and, did uh, I get a picture of this? I uh, was full. Yeah, oh. that stuff does fill up. Right. So, it's like, huh, that's interesting. And while she was doing that, uh, she brought up the thing that you brought up. That like, uh, So, remember how I said I could eject my stomach? Well, I can also do that with my lower organs, too. Uh, let's just keep it a secret between us. And when I was reading it, I was like, huh, interesting. Huh? I didn't need to know that. <laughs> I never wanted to know that. <laughs> I like how this tells me it's the Great Thunderblade, but I don't know what it is. Because you haven't held it yourself to know what it is. This magic fused great swords forged by the Hyrule royal family using lightning from the Hyrule Hills. Attack when the blade glows golden to expel lightning. But I can't hold it. Yeah. You know, I personally love the story that's told just from its positioning. But no! No, you pick that back up and you get rid of one of those great swords. That is a great sword. No, like that thing. No, left. What? This? Yeah, the Knight's Claymore. That's 38 and this is 24. Screw this. Unless I can, wait, can I wield a shield? Okay, never mind. Fair enough. I thought that was a great sword. Fair enough. <laughs> Woo! Look at that thing get some air. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I like, just look around this area for a moment. Like, don't you think it's just neat the implications of seeing like a thunder blade? in the center of what looks down a mountain that was split by some great force from above. Well, how do you think they made it? <laughs> it's like a sword there, put it like some metal rod next to it and let it get <laughs> hit by lightning. That's how it works, dude. It's just like, I just love the implications of that placement and stuff like that. It's like, God dang, does this feel like picking up a legendary blade? But it's you. not. It's just this blade that will break after a bit and it'll respawn during a like red moon. You know, it'd be cool. If during a red moon you saw a big old bolt of thunder just strike in that area, and then boom, new thunder blade. Oh. I mean, wouldn't that be cool? Oh, oops. <laughs> yep. Yeah. But anyways, okay. So like uh, she was saying, how like uh, she could eject her lower organs, and that like uh, she'd see what she was gonna do, seduce him. She cleaned him ahead of time. But anyways, just that whole comment of like uh, the stomach and all that kind of stuff. And like I uh, flipped like uh, through a uh, a number of pages into this Daljin because like I was wondering just how far were they gonna like take this and they went some interesting places with like this fact of her anatomy and I was thinking wow yep this is one of those times when a fandom just like truly shines in a horrible way yes what well that's not horrible. I mean, okay. Uh, okay. Well, uh, let's uh, you know analyze this. Why do you say in a horrible way? I don't know. I was just going with. I would see people saying like you know taking autism to a whole new level. That's usually what the internet would joke. Taking autism to a whole new level. Like, like really focusing in on things no matter how weird they are. I. I guess that's related to what I was going to say. <laughs> Like, exactly. you know, I was just gonna bring up, like, I think it's really neat how a fandom could pay, like, attention to, like, what was probably one little meant-to-be-a-throwaway line that no one would, uh, like, you know, give any serious thought to or supposed to give any serious thought to. I was like, oh, hey, she can eject her stomach and clean it, like, you know, neat and stuff, uh, whatever. But, like, you know, that will never come up again in the future, probably. 
I mean, you aren't saying that it surprised you that someone thought of that of this, are you? Yes, I am, because like it's not often that I see people pay attention to details like that to come to the conclusion to where if she could, if, well, I believe the scientific term is prolapse her stomach, then she could probably prolapse her anus and even her vagina. Not only if that's what frogs can actually do. Well, that's what actually uh, got me to like uh, wondering because like uh, the... please do tell me you looked it up. <laughs> well, uh, let's see these uh, this comic I was reading like uh, it has like a comments down at the bottom, mm -hmm. and like uh, right. the, one of the top comments was like, "Well, now I gotta Google if frogs <laughs> or amphibians can prolapse their internal organs like this." Oh shit! I can get back on Divine Beast Bamado. What? Really? Ah! It's good, because there was some stuff left on it. <laughs> there was? I forgot a couple treasure chests, because I didn't know I could tilt it, and when I did learn I could tilt it, I was ready to get off the damn thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, this will be interesting to see how exactly it puts you back on there. That's a good question. Is it going to be tilted horribly? It should. Like, I'm just imagining it's going to put you on its beak or something stupid like that. Oh boy, you might be right. Wait, so I'm gonna do that. Oh, it's even stupider. Can I get on him? It warps you to a place next to us. Get on you? Oh, he's taking aim, it's too dangerous to go near. Okay. Well, no, you can't get on him. How is it? That was weird. How is it too dangerous? Is he gonna murder me? I'm climbing cliff. Look where I am right now. No, oh, it's too dangerous. He's at an angle. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Oh baby. Ah. Ooh, I saw a house nearby on the snowy mountain. Go in there. Okay, you're saying. All right. So yeah, someone commented. Well, now that I gotta Google if uh, amphibians can prolapse their internal organs like that, and I figure, why not? I like learning new stuff. So, when I looked it up, I found out just what the heck a prolapse even is, since I've been using that word so much. I knew it had something to do with this. I don't know how I knew this, but I knew it. Oh, shit. Why? Why is it so cold all of a sudden? Because hmm? it's night, isn't it? It's hmm. too cold even for me right now. What if I... What if I eat this? Am I good? Nope. Okay, this is... This is a whole new level of oh no. Oh no! We're good. Okay. What do you mean you knew? Like you just knew it had to do with sue you? Is, uh... No, I, I knew what prolapse meant. Oh. I don't know why I knew it, but I knew it. Okay. Well, I've seen some stuff and repressed it. Mm -hmm. So when I looked into what exactly a prolapse was, I found it interesting because it also like uh when is some other thing i always kind of wondered like the human body in general has always interested me with like how it works out and stuff like that how like everything we have just seems to work together for ways that we just don't really think about like you know uh how like one gets a sneezy and full of snot and like are just like uh, you know uh, hacking that stuff out Huh? Well, you know, some would just think, oh, that's annoying. Why do I even do that? To where, like, from a biological standpoint, it's actually how your body filters out dust and particles whenever you're breathing because the air is naturally filthy around you. Like, your nose catches that stuff, uh -huh. puts it in mucus so that you can throw it out. Like, your nose has its own respiratory self-cleaning system. Yeah, that's really cool. Like, it's like, there's so many neat things that the body has going for it when one just, like, you know, stops to think about, like, the body somehow was uh, built, made, or developed this way. The use for prolapsing your own organs like that, hmm. I wonder. Now then, one thing that I always wondered about was, how does the skin t uh, stay attached the way it is while still being so flexible? Okay, a weird thing to think, but I understand where you're coming from. Hmm. So, and like, uh, that's actually where uh, prolapse comes in. It's actually a Greek term that uh, stands for loose skin, if I remember correctly. So the, oh, uh, can you bring your map? 
Hmm. I see. I'm in a scary place. Uh, you didn't try looking for a tower first? It was too hard to see. Hmm. Well. Okay, then. Scary area. Yeah. So, prolapse uh, is uh, Greek for loose skin, if I remember correctly. Really? And Yes. And what it is, is this condition that uh, what it literally stands for oh, oh. is when organs fall out of place. That's never good. Oh, baby. Something fun's happening without me. Yep. Okay. Gross. Huh? Are you talking to the screen or what I'm talking about? I'm confused. Both. Uh, something was happening without me. As so in... how do I know where to go on from there? <laughs> the boulders follow falling were not gross, Edo. Organs falling out, I was considering gross. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I don't consider boulders gross. I'm not that weird. Hmm. So, yeah, it's like, uh... uh Many parts of the organs uh, can prolapse. Uh, the most common prolapse is the anus, which I thought that's interesting. <laughs> that like you know, <laughs> hmm? sorry, yeah, I'm going. Like uh, that's interesting that the anal canal is not like some kind of fixed piped organ in the body, like that's squished together amongst all order organs, like uh, perfectly. That no, it's actually literally something hanging there by skin in place. Which I guess, okay, that gives it like a certain degree of flexibility that uh, makes it malleable. Uh, I'm not quite sure if that's the word I'm looking for and things like that. But a prolapse is what happens when like the uh, skin that's supposed to be holding it in place, so to speak, just like uh, stops working or gets removed or something like that. Uh -huh. I'm not quite sure what causes it to where like the, the anus is actually able to... <laughs> wow. There, huh? Well, I'll save you a trip. Right? Well, no, I'm just saying, like, there is a little uh, puzzle uh, there in order to reach up to it. But you just bypassed that. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, look around. You don't see those spiky rocks all over? Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah, like, uh, uh, so long, maze. <laughs> <laughs> did you know it? <laughs> did, did I do the maze? Yeah. No. Like, uh, I did the same thing you did. <laughs> Can I just blow the maze up? Uh, eh. Wait. Doesn't even look like a maze. Oh. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I looked it up and says, okay, so that's just literally like I wrote a prolapse is. And from there, you get the, uh, the spe specific definitions of, like, you know, anal prolapse, vaginal prolapse. It makes me wonder if there's, like, a, uh, what would be the word? A throat prolapse of some sort? That would be pretty horrible, yeah. Mm. Like, I'm uh, just like uh, wondering if the other two exist, and maybe that one. But I'm just thinking, well, if your throat prolapsed on you, then wouldn't you suffocate at that point? Probably. So it's probably not something that really happens. Whereas the other prolapses, you can actually live with. Oh, I'm sure it's happened. Whether someone lived from it or not <laughs> is another question. I mean, I've heard of the anal one, and I've heard you die from it sometimes. Hmm. I've heard of the other one, and I've mostly heard deaths from that. Hmm. Those aren't fun. Usually how they occur ain't fun either. Hmm. Right. Uh, most of the stuff I read about was, like, how they occur in nature and all that. Hmm. That's like a little cave there, huh? The hell's... Oh, there's something to this. Right? I don't see anything bombable in here. Abominable. Okay, so it's not raining over here. So I can climb this. Mm -hmm. Bolly's gale is about to be done. <laughs> Screw you! Like, I'm fighting your pathetic butt. <laughs> you ain't gonna... I knew you were gonna do that, but I said it's not gonna goad me. Nice try. Right. But uh, when I was looking it up, it was more or less like wiki articles and like Gale you know, is how it happens ready. in nature and all that kind of stuff. Oh, Jesus. And, uh... Plateau. 
Freeze it with an arrow. Okay, so I guess you just wait for it to unfreeze, and then when it does, like quickly jump it. I feel like I'm gonna fall off when that happens. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Suit. <laughs> shh, shh, shh. It's okay. Let's get the hell out of here, please. Come on. Go! Why don't you just do the force walk? I'm trying. Are Watch. you saying it won't let you? Yes. I'm pushing L right now, and it's not going. <laughs> um, yes. yes. Yes, 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 No, you come back here. You can always freeze it again. I ain't doing that. It took too long to thaw. Wait. Ugh. Okay, I just got... Oh, he died. Fair enough. Shouldn't have survived the first one, to be fair. Hmm. Okay, so you're saying? Okay. So, yeah, like, uh... <laughs> thanks to... Whatever I was doing on the internet. Oh boy. Oh no. Don't tell me you got lots of weird recommended stuff. What? Weird recommended stuff? It's like, oh, we see you like prolapsed anuses. Do you want to perhaps read this? Um. No. No, no it doesn't have anything like that. The staple, the paperclip staple thing appears like, I see you're searching prolapsed anuses. Would you like help with that? <laughs> well, it would be prolapse, uh, not prolapsed anus. Okay, I guess don't go too specific with it. I want to generalize that. Hmm. What is this? So, he's nearby, huh? That's two! No. What, you don't hear it? Sounds like a Goron. <laughs> uh, hearing, like, I thought he was hearing bongos, like. Yeah. A Goron wishes he could be that majestic. <laughs> Wait, who are you? Well, what, what's happening? What's happening? <laughs> Answer me, Edo. Well, Cars. I think that's his name, isn't it? Or was it Cause? Talking about ay 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 ay. Right. What? Freaking Pillar Man? No. Uh, though I do get their names mixed up quite a bit, but uh, the Rito with the um, the organ. Yeah, what's it called? Like, what do you call that instrument that you basically squeeze together and pull apart? Accordion? Yes. Like the Rito with the accordion. Do you not hear his accordion? There is a Rito with an accordion? You haven't met him before? No. Who are you talking about? In what? What What game? In here. You, are you telling me you do not hear an accordion playing right now? Yes, that's all. You okay down there? I see you sliding off that cliff. <laughs> No, I don't. Where is he? Where would he be? Where? Actually, I think he's more to your right. To my right? There oh. he is. Yeah. There oh. was one of my most favorite characters in this game. I haven't met this random guy. He seems awesome. Ah! I love the accordion. Ah! Hello! I'm naked. Oh, pardon me. I didn't think anyone was around. Oh, that, that there, on your hip. Uh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. It's nothing. I didn't mean to pry. No worries. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Cass. I'm a bard traveling this land in search of ancient songs. When I had first encounter, I was like, are you a bird? To which his response was, oh, uh, have you never met a Rito before? Well, uh, uh, nice to meet you, Halean, and stuff like that. Hmm. I, I'm kind of surprised it still gave you that option, considering you saved Rito Village. I know. Well, he's the eternally confused Link. <laughs> Have you heard of the ancient songs of Hyrule? No. Oh. Ancient songs. Songs that sing the praise of a hero who beat back the calamity in age past. 
I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down the region? Yeah, sure, okay. Ooh. Excellent, without further ado. A beast that wears a crown of bone prancing through the lush green. A crown of bone. Mount the beast upon its throne, for only then the shrine is seen. Okay, neat. What is this creature of bone? I suppose the lush green could refer to this place, but what sort of beast wears a crown of bone? Mm. There's definitely a secret hiding here, but it's beyond me. May the light illuminate your path. Yeah, I really wish I knew about the ice arrow trick. Of catching things? Mm -hmm. I mean, come on. Mount a beast with crown of bone? Oh, I'm not... Damn it! Hey, guys! <laughs> Although, I'm wondering what was that thing uh, behind you. What? Like, I thought I saw, like, a shrine behind you, even though I was like, but no, wait, this is... That? Uh, okay, smoke. smoke. Yeah. Like, there's a fire over there. Why is there a fire over there? Someone's over there, lighting fires. Without me, how rude. <laughs> oh, and, uh, hey, there's your... Oh, no, wait, those are just does. Okay, there's your, uh... Oh, I guess a goat could work, too. I'm not sure. Feasibly, yes. Well, there's one directly to your left. I can't ride those, though. You can't? Pretty sure. Tried. But have you tried with ice arrows? No. Okay. Because whenever I tried, I never couldn't, but I could never tell if I was in the right position to be able to do it. Okay, so just wait around here to claim your prize. Okay, so you were saying about horrifying prolapse anuses? <laughs> Why do you keep saying horrifying? Because <laughs> it's gross, dude! <laughs> I didn't want to know about that stuff. It's one of those things you see on the internet and then you're like, ah, oh, I wish I had never seen this. Mm. Oh, look at me prancing through the meadow. I'm so beautiful. I'm so majestic. Gorgeous. Oh, I love. Can I take a selfie while I'm on this thing? Nope. Ah, oh, it's so majestic. I'm going to ride you everywhere until I get bored of going this one really boring speed. And I can't name you, probably. But I name you Cushy Bud. Oh, it's such a fluffy bud. Hmm. Got it! Did I do it? Did I did it? Wait, you know what would be hilarious? Hmm. This is like, you're, you're basically telling me is that no deer has ever, like, walked upon this, basically. Otherwise, it just kind of activate by itself. Well, someone needs to have been, uh, riding it. No, oh, it must be a weight thing. Maybe a particularly fat deer. Just had to be a particularly fat deer. I don't know how it's scanned for bone, but Sheikah technology is pretty crazy. Yeah. Yes, ancient, lost, super advanced Sheikah technology. Nope, no, no, no. You are not escaping. Well, uh, you know, go tell Kaz that you figured out the secret. Kaz! Yeah, it. Wait, okay. This one. This one doesn't use up three arrows. Oh, you don't know? Oh, wait. It doesn't actually use up those. Mm. Oh, I get it now. The crown of bone refers to antlers. Of course, that's a mountain buck. Those Manchester creatures are a bit like kings of the forest, aren't they? Your exploits <laughs> here could be of their own heroic song, you know? Take care. May the light illuminate your path. Well, I'll open it, but I'm not going in right now. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, no, I was, uh... Huh. Actually, I don't think I ever win. Oh, okay. But as a quick aside, like one thing I always thought was that they could bring back old Zelda songs uh, just by using Kaz as like the person that gave you the side quest to go do them. That'd be pretty cool. I mean, he's about collecting ancient songs, so wouldn't it just make all the sense if he helped you to find these songs of past games? Makes sense to me. That one's over there. Is that bone? Uh, yes. Yes, that is bone. Oh, I'm gonna be able to make this. Oh, make this. You're actually fairly close to a certain thing. Certain okay, thing. Okay, you're heading for that tower right now, right? Yeah, pretty much. Well, I'm right heading right for this cliff, really. Okay, okay make it all the way over there. Making your way uh, downtown. Walking fast, bases past. Me. Homebound. Do, 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 do. Yes. Can I make it? Got it! I think I can make it. But overall, the moral of the story is. That don't spit shine someone's shoes without asking. <laughs> Sorry, just 
I, what do they call that? The Wheel of Morality from Animaniacs. I just, you, you said the moral of the story. I just couldn't help myself. Oh, I thought it was just that particular lesson. Get up there! What the hell was this? Another fourth dragon? The mystical fourth dragon of the fourth Triforce piece and the fourth goddess? Oh, shit! Someone should be careful. Rain, man. man. You're saying? Moral of the story. Fandoms are awe-inspiring. That mm. someone could care enough for one particular, you know, little line of dialogue that is probably meant to be nothing, and yet write or like and draw possibly an entire series of books to where Quite a series. Huh? This is a series. Oh yeah, like it was a number of Daojins that like focused on Suru. And, like, she was naked quite a bit uh, throughout a majority of them. And so, like, uh, whenever you would get certain angle shots, you would just kind of see them hanging out. To which I was just like, huh. Well, this is certainly an interesting aspect of the series. Although I'm kind of wondering about all the stuff I'm seeing, just how, like, uh, true that is to certain characters and certain reactions and all that kind of stuff. Oh, well, I know the main character's personality quite well. Uh, he is consistently and constantly bashful as hell. Okay. So, that was all throughout, uh, the, the books. If I correctly. To the point that, like, he can barely talk to girls. Hmm. Well, that would explain why he hid under his bed, huh? That sounds about right. That'd probably be my first reaction, someone breaking into my room, honestly. <laughs> and then that'd be my next reaction as soon as I saw that. <laughs> She might be running out of the room and screaming in terror. <laughs> well, How about we do it a little more vanilla, please? The... Oh. <laughs> okay, I also, do it a little more vanilla. It uh, took me a moment to get that. Is water pooling? Is that what? Is water pooling up here? No, uh, it's trying to, but the um, area is like filled with holes. So oh. it, it can't pull. So it's kind of has Smart. like a, um, oh, what's the word? A layer of uh, water on it where the water is dripping on? Yeah, I'm seeing that. <laughs> I was noticing there's someone on this tower. Oh, you noticed that this time. I did. <laughs> did it. I'm improving. <laughs> uh, Ray totally backed me up on that first one, though. He said there were a lot of angles to where it wasn't actually very easily seeable. And it's probably because you already knew he was there that you weren't surprised by it. No, because I saw him the first time, too. You mean when I got on there? Like, when you get in there, that wasn't me seeing that tower for the first time. I do play this game on my That's own. That's what he meant. <laughs> is that you already knew he was up there because you have been up here. And so you already had the expectation of being up there. So when I didn't notice him, it's because... They're, they're basically mean... implying that the first time I got up there that I didn't see him when it did the uh, spinning around. No, I did see him okay. the first time it did the spinning around. Ah, the spinning around is when you saw him. Okay, I thought you... No, meant... beforehand. You saw him before it span around? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's what he was saying, is that on my playthrough with my camera angles, I didn't see him. Because until it, done, it did the spinning around, there was no good camera angle to see him. That's why I didn't see him. You might have known Yeah, but there. you didn't see him even when it did the spinning around. Okay, that is true. But there's another person here. They're like so high up... People are gonna get stuck the frig up on these things. How many people were standing right there? Why were you even up here? You'd be surprised. Well, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Oh. Excuse me. Yes, you. I am Groove of the Zora. It is apparent that you are a traveler, but what may I ask has brought you here? Well, I could ask the same. Oh. Hmm, how very astute of you. Excellent and queer indeed. I, by the order of Prince Sidon of Zora's domain, am searching for a Hylian. Or I was, but then I fell asleep. I awoke to a loud noise and awful quaking, and now here I am. I'd like to get down and be on my way, but I'm silly too up. I need to figure something out. Prince Don is down at the bridge below, but for some reason I cannot seem to catch his attention. But you! You are Hylian, yes? Uh. Well then, my luck is improving. Yes, you found me. Hello. Oh. Prince Don, I found one! I found Hylian! He's up here on the tower, who would have guessed? He didn't hear me. Uh. He didn't seem to notice me. I should swallow my fear and jump to the river below. Then I can return to him. He must be worried sick. Nope, nope, can't do it. Nope, 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 don't want to, nope. Too high up. Oh. I'll likely meet the gods of the ever after before I see Prince Adana again. Oh. Mr. Arlen, I must apologize. It'll be some time before I can get back to him. Please, you must leave me here and go on ahead. 
What makes you think I can do it? Well, you can glide. He didn't. I didn't and tell you him did that. get up here in the first place. Does he not have fingers? But uh, oh. take a look at that, Zora. Does he have glasses on? No. Okay, then. For a moment there, I thought maybe he had glasses. It's a very pretty face, though. Lovely eyes. Okay, so don't jump down that way. Okay. Jump the opposite direction. This way? Why? You want me to land on that tower? Nope. We'll maybe it's down. actually a little bit to the right. Okay. Uh, Running out of time this episode. Yeah, but... jump that way. I'll do what I can. Try to go out as far as you can. That way. Yeah. Am I heading towards that shrine over there? No, nah, keep your eye near the bottom. Okay. Uh, am I trying to land on something? Yes. Is this bridge under me? Maybe. I don't know. I can't quite see it. Now I'm looking at the mini map. Oh, actually, yes. Uh, yeah, land near that bridge. Woo! Like, no, Woo! bridge further up. This bridge? Mate, yep, there, there it is. Hey! Ah, yeah! Yes, hello. Uh, <coughs> hey, come here! You see that bird? <laughs> That's a really freaking weird bird! Huh? Isn't nice how the oh. weather just cleared up? Oh my, oh wow, oh wow, oh, wow! Oh. That's a highly, a real highly. Oh, I mean, hey, you are, you are highly, right? Yeah, I'm highly. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not uh, gonna lie to you, girl. I kind of wanted to mess with her a bit, but okay. Well, I knew it. I so knew it. But what are you waiting for? Go see Prince Adon. There's like a goblin, like right there, dude. Ah. He's waiting on the Inogo Bridge, which is upstream of Zora River. Please listen to what per dear Prince Adon has to say. Oh, please do. <laughs> I know it's sudden, but you understand everything once you get there. Trust me, you'll see. Been so long since we've been Hylian. Well, jump in and talk to her. Oh, baby, come here. Been so long. <laughs> hey, Mr. Hylian, please stop telling me to go see Prince Adon. No, baby, get, come here. Don't point. Oh, baby, you know I love it when you point. Prince Adon's waiting. Blah, 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 blah. Again. No. <laughs> no, see? See, I know you're waiting waste my time. See how many times she's gonna point at me? Now she's pointing at me. Hmm. That's weird. Maybe it's because you already talked to Prince Don when you got this? No. I haven't talked to like uh, the prince at all. I've just talked to all these people leading up to him. Wow. Like, uh but uh, yeah, oh and then you can just warp straight back up to the tower. Oh those are fish bones! These are fish bones! Mm. Whoa! Yeah, you've uh, basically bypassed an entire bog. Uh, that if you had to bother to track up that way ah. to try to get to the tower. Lovely. So what did you say? Warp back up there? Yeah, warp back up to the tower. Well, this is about the end of the episode, though. Mm. Wait, Lanayru Tower? Really? Yeah. Are we that close to Mount Lanayru that we're going to call this tower that? Honestly? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they couldn't get a tower any closer to the mountain. Thank you. If we are going to have a Lanayru Tower built into the game, they should have put it closer, honestly. Well, you know, it's a regional thing. How the hell did this Sheikah not build a tower up there? Hmm. Maybe they considered it too sacred? To put, like, on the mountain? Hey, I see another tower! Oh, that tower. Oh, it's you. <laughs> yes, exactly! Uh, that is my sentiments. It's near Goron area. But anyways, uh, there is another shrine that's uh, kind of near... Okay, yeah, see that shrine down there? Yeah, might as well. Okay. But yeah, to uh, finish up my sentiments of uh, what I was saying, like, this is some of the things that I love about fandoms, how they'll just, like, take an idea and just kind of run with it with its own natural conclusion. I mean, where else would you possibly find a love story between who I'm assuming is a side character and the main character that takes into the account that a person has this thing going about them genetically. I like your outfit. It accentuates your physique. Your unique physique. Oh, oh my, how oh my, how wonderful. You're highly in yes. Yes I am. <laughs> Perfect. It must be my Ah uh, no, that's that's Mario. Why am I Mario? Do not make me Mario. <laughs> 
Her voice is just a bit deeper. Perfect, it must be my lucky day. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, I apologize for calling you out so suddenly. I am so, I'm Torfu of the Zora. I have been ser searching for Hylian like you for a long time. My home Zora's domain is in terrible danger. That is why Prince Don sent me to find a strong Hylian warrior. That's why I came to a fucking cliffside. Because oh. you never know where you'll find you wacky people, right? <laughs> yeah. He's over there. Can you talk to him and save us all, maybe? We'd be so grateful. Oh, he's over there? Really? Yeah, just bring out your scope. Man, look at that uh, second tower. That's Zoom him. in. And that's him. And I assume... <laughs> like, uh, I <laughs> assume that's him. Like, once I saw everything was leading me to there, I was like, okay, this looks like story. Well, time for me to turn around until Sioi gets here. But, yeah, like, uh, the one guy just kind of got stuck when the tower was rising. And that one girl, I could have swore she said it. I'm not sure what triggered it, but it's just that she was supposed to be looking for a Helaian. And so she decided to look in some water. But then, like, she just has so much fun looking in the water that she forgets God. to look for a Helaian. So it's just kind of this cycle of, like, oh, I'm having fun. oh, wait, I need to look for a Helaian. Swims around for a bit looking. Gets lost having fun looking, and it's like, oh, wait, Helene swims around looking. It's fucking adorable. <laughs> yeah, she would tell you that, but I don't know why she didn't tell you that. She was too distracted by my nudity. <laughs> and then, and that, combined with the pleasure of water, made her completely forget. <laughs> okay. I made her experience new pleasures that made her forget. So then, uh, shall uh, we end the episode there? <laughs> yeah, okay. We'll see y'all later, everybody. Later. We'll talk to the prince in the next one.